legally I'm only allowed to say so much regarding it and I know there's a lot of things being posted online that are very out of context and very much untrue so please do not believe everything that you will read on the internet. You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Sure, Jan. Hello, hello, long time no see. Today I have a video for you that is going to likely enrage you to your core if you do not know about it already. I want to swan dive into an empty swimming pool after hearing about this. You think family vloggers are bad? You think the video I made a few weeks ago about how there are some really heinous YouTubers who use their children for cash cows and clout? Oh boy, wait until you hear this. I promise you this is going to be a train wreck by the time we are done with it. I just don't understand where... Humanity has gone wrong. We are a mistake at this point. I am dead inside. Let's get into this. Now, before we get into this video, I do want to stop and talk about something really quick. I know that October is almost over and I haven't created any content this month. I've been on a little hiatus. It's not something that I planned. It's not something that I necessarily wanted to do. October is one of my favorite months. I love this time of the year. Usually I have so much content planned. In fact, September 30th or October 1st, I had a whole list of videos that I was planning on making. And um, then I was hit with some pretty devastating news. Family members in my personal life that, um, is really going to require a lot of my attention for a while. And with that being said, I don't know how consistent my uploads are going to be. If anybody has been following me on a Instagram or has been looking at my community posts, I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety and panic attacks and I've been on a medication to kind of help that. And it's finally starting to kick in and I'm finally starting to feel better on that regard. But I have a lot of other stresses and stuff going on. Um, again, in my personal life that I can't really share publicly, unfortunately, but I uh, just know that if I am not as consistent with my uploads or if I disappear for a few weeks, that is why I do apologize in advance, but I figured I'd let you know now so you're not speculating later. So there is a TikToker that goes by the name of Digital Princess. Listen, I need to rant a little bit here. I genuinely enjoy TikTok. I love scrolling for hours and hours, watching the stupidest videos. Most of my For You videos are animal related. Q, my child is completely fine. And just really random dumb things. Well, Krabs, let me ask you a question. If I back it up, is it fat enough? And when I throw it back, is it fast enough? If I speed it up, can you handle that? The formula! I need to start making more TikToks. The only TikToks I have public are videos of Chester, but it's something that brings me a lot of joy. It's entertaining and I don't know why, but I just find the stupidest things on there that make me laugh my ass off. I love TikTok. However, I do not love what TikTok is doing to humanity. I feel like we are devolving as a species. The idea that anybody can go viral for anything and become instantly famous is so frightening. And people like this are the reason why. An article by Game Rant states, TikTok star, Twitch streamer, and adult entertainer Marissa Digital Princess Cloutier was reportedly arrested in Lee County, Florida and charged with child neglect. According to the police report, the incident occurred on Tuesday, August 24th. Neighbors found her son alone in the yard and crying, so they called the police. When police arrived, Cloutier's front door was open and the TikTok star was nowhere to be found. Florida police were able to make contact with Cloutier after finding her phone number on paperwork in the home, and she stated to the police that she was about six minutes away from the residence. Upon arrival, police noted that Cloutier was wearing a black mini dress and full makeup. She showed police a bottle of Tide laundry detergent and stated that she left the house to make the purchase. Police were suspicious of Cloutier's explanation due to her attire and because the laundry detergent was reportedly half empty. Police then read Cloutier her rights and began to question her. Police asked Cloutier if she had a receipt to prove she recently purchased the laundry detergent, but she said she paid in cash and didn't have one. Police then asked Cloutier if she would show up on the 7-Eleven security footage, at which point she began to hesitate and advised that she wanted to be truthful. Digital Princess then explained that she had put her son to bed earlier than previously claimed and traveled 11 miles to go to a friend's house. She said said that the laundry detergent was not recently purchased, but had actually been in the trunk of her car, and that she 
actually did have a support system in Florida, with her relatives living relatively close by. But here then explained the police that her anxiety made her lie, and she felt as though she needed to provide a cover-up story to get out of trouble. Katir's mother was called to the scene to take care of her son while police reportedly took the TikTok star into custody. A few days later, news of the arrest broke on social media, prompting a video response from Cloutier on her Digital Princess TikTok account. This video has since been removed, but has been saved and shared by others. In the TikTok video, Cloutier said that she was not trying to avoid the situation, but cautioned that she could only say so much regarding it. She also said that there are a lot of things being posted online that are, quote, very out of context. She added, please do not believe everything that you will read on the internet. Katir has since made her various social media accounts private. So you mean to tell me a woman who was arrested for child neglect came back to TikTok and started mocking the situation and expected people to be okay with that? First of all, Obviously, I think it's needless to say that this person shouldn't be a parent and people like this just shouldn't have kids in general, but I feel like this is just insult to injury that you are going on TikTok and making fun of a situation where you got arrested for neglecting your kid. I genuinely feel terrible for your child and I am concerned with your incompetence, not only as a parent, but as a human fucking being. Because what person thinks that something like this is not only acceptable, but funny or humorous in some way. She's standing in front of a green sports car, I'm gonna call it a Lamborghini, but it probably isn't, I'm really bad with cars, doing dances and mocking people for being mad at the fact that she neglected her child and left her child out front on her lawn while she went to a party. And um, the whole point of her making this video and gloating about, you know, oh, you're mad that I'm back, is because her case was dismissed. This doesn't mean that she was innocent, this doesn't mean that this didn't happen. This doesn't mean that she is suddenly free from any criticism for it. That doesn't mean that what happened didn't happen. One thing that absolutely irks the hell out of me, and I've criticized other YouTubers for doing the same thing, is the fact that she actively makes TikToks while driving to the point where TikTok actually has to put a disclaimer at the bottom of those videos saying that dangerous actions are taking place. Maybe it's a good thing her kid didn't go with her after all, because who knows, maybe she was putting him at risk for getting in an accident, because that's what you're doing when you film yourself on TikTok while driving. And she's putting other people on the road at risk for the same thing. If you're filming yourself and then you get in an accident, because you're too focused on TikTok, you're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting other people if you hit somebody else's car. All it takes is a split second of not paying attention to potentially end somebody's life. And something tells me if she has so little regard for her own child being home alone while she goes to a friend's house, she certainly probably doesn't have any regard for anybody else on the road. Clearly, if she's doing this, I mean, it doesn't take rocket science to figure it out. You know, here's the thing. You could have a lot of followers on social media. You can gain a lot of success and fame and money. You could have lots of fancy cars and other materialistic objects. But if you're going to be a parent and neglect your child, then you're a f***ing loser. And I think you know that in the deep pit of your soul because no person who is secure with themselves is going to make a comeback video like this where you're showing off all of this fancy stuff you have saying, stay mad at me. I think you know you f***ed up. I think you know you're a loser and I think you know you're a sh parent. If there's one slightly decent thing that has come out of this, it's the fact that at least her audience knows that this is really f***ed up. And a lot of people in the comments of her new videos are being completely ruthless and saying things like, Hey, I'm sorry, can you do that TikTok dance again? I missed it the first time because I was watching my kids. I do want to make a note of something before we continue in the next segment here, which is the fact that I am completely aware that those who have OnlyFans accounts are treated like scum by a lot of people in society. This goes for a lot of people in the sex industry in general. They are treated like they are not held to the same value as other human beings are just because of their occupation. They are treated like sh they are treated like less than a human being, and it's really sad to see. I want to make that known before getting into this next part here, because I don't want to make it seem like I'm saying this person is disgusting for having an OnlyFans. I just think it's a little f***ed up that after this incident occurs, instead of addressing it, the first thing you do is promote your OnlyFans on your Twitter. An update as I was making this video, she made another post on Twitter, and this one... <laughs> 
You think it can't get any worse. You think this is the worst it could possibly get. But no. In less than 24 hours, I'll be releasing my statement, 1022 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be releasing it on OnlyFans, which means you must subscribe to watch. This is clearly at a point where she's exploiting the entire situation. I find the lack of remorse this person has to be truly outrageous in every aspect. But what's more interesting to me is the fact that not only is she showing how much she does doesn't care about the situation by mocking it and acting like she's innocent because the case was dropped, despite the fact that she admitted to police that she went 11 miles away to hang out with friends while her child was home alone. And just because the charges were dropped and the case was dismissed, it did not rewrite history and make it so that never happened. It still happened, she still admitted to doing this, and she's still wrong and a shitty parent. But what's so interesting to me is the fact that she showed such an obvious lack of remorse for something so serious as neglecting her child, yet a few months ago she had a breakdown on a TikTok video and started crying at the fact that she said offensive words six years ago and someone found out about it. If there is one thing about me and if you know about me, anybody I know who uses the word or anything like that, I am against it. I call people out. I disown my whole family for using the word and so if there's one thing I just want to let people know is that I probably Oh my god, I am not that same person who I used to be and that I have changed a whole lot and I try to educate myself every day <laughs> on new things and I try to educate others on also learning all that type of stuff and obviously I'm not proud of who I used to be and so um, obviously I'm really sorry if who I used to be and I apologize for the post I made six years ago. I'm not saying that what she recently did automatically means that she's not wrong for those things that happened years ago, and I'm not saying she shouldn't have apologized for it, but what I am saying is the fact that she had such an overwhelming reaction to that, something that happened years and years ago, yet when it comes to neglecting a child and putting them in danger and displaying to the world that you are a horrible parent, she's displaying no concern whatsoever about the way that the public is perceiving this and she's displaying no remorse or regret over what has happened and now she's making you have to pay to hear her explanation for it. And it just shows to me how disingenuine influencers like this person can actually be. So an update on to the situation, it is now almost 11 o'clock p.m. on October 22nd and a lot of people are claiming that Digital Princess's OnlyFans has been banned. Now I don't know the logistics on OnlyFans, I'm not sure if this is true or not, however when you do go on the web page, it says user is inactive. And from my understanding, what that means is you can no longer follow her. You can't see her posts. And I don't know if this means all of her videos and content has been privated, or if this means that OnlyFans has actually truly banned her or suspended her. I honestly don't know how this works for OnlyFans. However, I do know that something does seem to be up. She apparently did not post the video that she claimed she would be posting today. And it seems like she has no more content on her OnlyFans page. Has TikTok made people worse or were people this bad and we're just seeing it more because TikTok gives you the ability to become famous in an instant. And now we are seeing several different people highlighted in this aspect where we weren't before. So was this already happening? Were people already this awful and we just didn't see it as often because we're not seeing people become instantly viral through an app or is this app making people worse because they know that they can become famous and viral by cosplaying or by doing certain dances or whatever you're doing on TikTok? I just don't know what the answer is. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Maybe it's like a nasty combination of the two. The reason why I find this to be worse than family vloggers though is because when family vloggers get called out for shit like not treating their kids right or for doing something that really is unacceptable as a parent, they at least try to seem like they're remorseful when they do their apology videos and they come out and explain why they did certain things. They at least act like they're sorry and they at least act like they know that it's a serious issue. This person is so unapologetic. Like not that an apology would make it better by the way because honestly when you do something as heinous as this I don't think saying sorry to your followers is going to make it better but at least like people as awful as family vloggers understand a little bit that what they did was 
fucked up. Whereas this person is just completely oblivious to it and thinks it's a complete joke and like a meme. And I'm just like, how oblivious could you possibly be? With that being said, thank you so much to everybody who has made it all the way to the end of this video, and thank you so much to all of my supporters over on Patreon, especially Lewis, Miss Tanisha, Anthony Trussout, and Michelle. Please, please stay tuned. I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be. I'm going to try my best to be as consistent as I can. Thank you so much, and I will see you.